Good day, Grade 12s. Welcome to Week 6. We're still carrying on with functions, and in this lesson, we're going to be looking at the inverse of an exponential graph. The inverse of an exponential graph. Now, you need to recap for exponents and logs because the inverse of an exponent is a log graph. The inverse of an exponent is a log graph. So, if you remember, your exponential equation is x equals a to the y, but then remember we have to swap our things, but the, before you do that, you know that the log equation is, what happens is, this goes to the front, the y goes to the front, and becomes y equals log x base a, y equals log x base a, and that is your inverses of the two. So now, let's look at an example. It says, draw the following graph, stating its domain and range. So we've got y equals 2 to the x. So the first thing we're going to do is let certain x be certain numbers. So if we let x equal 0, then we've got y is equal to 2 to the 0, which equals 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1, when x is 1, your y is going to be 2 to the 1, which is 2. So when x is 1, y is 2. When x is negative 1, y is going to be 2 to the negative 1, which is a half. So therefore, it is a half. So you can see that this graph goes up like that. Okay, and it gets closer and closer to the x-axis, but never cuts. And that is our y equals 2 to the x. Okay, so the asymptote is y equals naught, okay, as we can see. Now let's draw the f of negative 1 stating its domain and range. Okay, so change in color. To get the x and f of x negative 1, what do we do? We swap x and y and solve for y. So we swap x and y and solve for y. We've got x equals 2 to the y. And now we need to solve for it. So we go y is log x base 2. So we can see that the log is the inverse of our exponential graph. So now let's plot some points. Let's say let x equal 2. If x equals 2, y is going to be 1. If x equals 4, we've got log of 4 base 2, which is the same as log of 2 squared base 2 and the 2 goes to the front, so it becomes 2 log 2 base 2, and that becomes just 2. So when x equals 4, y equals 2. Okay, now what happens when our y equals 0? What's going to happen? It's going to go through here. So basically what we have is we have a graph that looks like that. So that there is our log graph, our log graph, where y equals log x base 2. And you will notice that the asymptote here is the x equals 0 line, the x equals 0 line. And that grade 12 is our basically our inverse of our exponential graph. Note again that what is the axis of symmetry? It is again the y equals x line. Why? Because all we've done is our so we swapped our x and y's and solved for y. Please go practice. Make sure you know how to solve these. Make sure you know how to plot them. Oops, we haven't done domain and range. My bad. Let's go back and do the domain and range. I was just about to say, remember, hope you know how to do the domain and range. <laughs> so let's do the, do the domain is all the values of x and do you see that it stretches from minus infinity all the way to plus infinity so the domain is going to be x is an element of real values but let's talk about the range the range y starts at zero in fact it doesn't ever get to zero because the asymptote is zero so y has to be greater than zero for y is an element of real values. You can see that y carries on forever. Now let's look at the domain and range of the log graph. And because this is the inverse of this, we expect these to be swapped, but let's just check. 
the domain. Do we agree that this x value never ever reaches the y axis? So therefore, because the asymptote is x equals 0. So therefore, we can say that x has to be greater than 0 for x is an element of real values. But the range, what happens to the range? Do you see it goes from minus infinity to positive infinity? So therefore, it's going to be y is an element of real values. Right, and that is it. Grade 12s, please go practice, practice, and then do the assessments at the end of the section. Have a great day.